my lovelies and welcome back to another video. I have to say this table is coming in kind of handy when I just want to lean in when I'm filming these sit down videos. Today's one is going to be a little bit overwhelming because first of all I'm feeling very chatty so it's gonna be a lot of this. Second of all, I have so many things to show you and I need to do it pronto because there's a lot of stuff going on in my life. I don't know if you're gonna see this video before the Italy vlog or after the Italia vlog because I'm kind of contemplating, you know? And also, I don't know how dedicated I will be in Italy to pizza and pasta and how dedicated to filming, so... If I'm like very enthusiastic for a few days, I'm like filming, vlogging, showing everything, you will see the Italy vlog first. But if I'm like in like pasta coma, tiramisu coma, having naps, which I never normally do, but like who knows, I might change. I am a new person anyway in 2020 slash 2021. The reason I say slash is because the other day I posted on my story is like I really didn't use 2020 as I normally use my years, so... I feel like it's a little bit unfair to even say that it's 2021. Okay, enough blabbing. Today's video is going to be like a ginormous haul because you guys know I'm getting so into spring mode. I cleared out my wardrobe. I emptied two suitcases full of clothes. Everything that I don't intend on wearing, I either donated to charity or were selling for charity purposes. So there's like all sorts of things going on. If you're not familiar with my Depop account, I will link it below. But I kind of thought like, you know what? World is going to be opening. I keep saying that it's not happening, but I keep saying it. I'm traveling to Italy next week where things are more or less open. I just got my COVID test negative or positive news. You know what I mean? Like post good news, negative to COVID. And I'm super happy because I was like, let me get some clothes for my trip. So that's what I'll be showing you. And it's not just clothes. I have a handbag, a pair of shoes, and then a lot of different pieces. Before I start getting into it, the reason why I'm talking so much is because I'm looking at one, two, three massive boxes full of stuff. And I'm thinking, where do I even start? It's like, you know, when you want to study and you get a book, but then you're like just doing everything else, like vacuuming the house, everything, as long as you don't have to study. So I'll start with the piece that I'm wearing right now. This is a Victoria by Victoria Beckham turtleneck that I love very, very much because of the kind of like fun and cute colors. So for example, for me, this is a super easy piece to style with a um, pair of jeans, like high-waisted jeans, tuck this in, and then like any color handbag, I think it's quite cute and springy because also it's warm. And to be honest, even though half of April is gone already, uh, I have not really seen sunny, sunny, proper sunny days. And I remember even in England, and this time of year I would have my at university like Easter break and it would be so warm I would go to the beach like uh, you know in Brighton I would enjoy the sunshine but right now I'm like I'm sorry why is it so cold in April anyway I'm trying to call the better weather with the choices of clothes that I have here so I'll start with a dress that I absolutely love and actually last summer I got something similar but this one is way better so I'm talking about a Jacquemus linen dark kind of green I would call this color more like sage but it's a bit of a mix between sage and taupe linen dress now what I really like about this dress is the detailing in front so if you look at it it has these sleeves which are very like cute with a little it's not a cutout but it comes across as a cutout on the shoulder beautiful kind of cleavage side and then it is fairly long with a slit uh, usually i'm not best friends with linen pieces because i don't really tend to bring like iron when i'm traveling so when i'm traveling this can be tricky but i have to say that this piece has been sitting in this box i mean it's not uh, not too bad it's not like terrible 
could be worse. So I'm quite happy with this type of linen materials. I can usually feel when there are gonna be problematic ones, you know? And this seems really, really nice. I'm looking forward to wearing this, this throughout spring and summer. And I think it would be so nice when I want to kind of like a casual dress up, you know? Like I wanna dress up, but not like too much. So it's like a casual dressing up, dress up, but not casual. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah. Hopefully you know what I mean. So that was the first item that I picked and I really, really love this. I am super obsessed. The moment I tried it on, I was like, yep, this is perfection. One brand that I wanted to buy everything from, from my Teresa, is Mugler. Now, I have to say that if you ask me, like I've been working with my Teresa for the transparency purposes. I've been working with my Teresa for several years. They're my partner. We've been working together very well. I love the platform, but the way I shop there, guys, I love shopping there simply because their buying is incredible. They really, really buy the super cool brands. They have a selection of amazing pieces. They really get them soon. And I can really see See that this is a platform that is trustworthy and has a respect of the best brands in the world because they get pieces in stock really really promptly as soon as they're out like my Teresa has them so it's my go-to place so from Mugler I picked two pieces now this is going to be hard to show from hand so you will just have to rely on the try on process Mugler blazers and dresses are in my opinion incredible. The Jacquemus one I got in size 36. You guys told me that it's really useful if I'm telling you what sizes I get these pieces in. So this is a size French 36. Mugler I got in size extra small. I don't know if that's gonna work because normally I'm not extra small, I'm small. But this is the dress. It's sort of like a also slim type of a bodycon jersey dress and it has this mesh detailing on the cleavage so basically it gives the illusion that this is nude and i think this is so special and so specific i mean it is quite dressy so i'm not really sure if it's like perfect for this time you know of this like whole situation we're in but when i saw it i was like okay i have to try this and i have to pick it up. And then there was another piece that I picked from Mugler, which is a body. What I love is the zip. I don't know if it will show you, but it's basically a star. Like their fragrances or like the logo, you know what I mean. Here we have a bodysuit. How do I show you this that it's kind of presentable? I think like my boyfriend will hate this because he is not the type who loves like too much nudity. Not in me, like in anybody he thinks is like not a way to show like fashion expression that nudity is not a way to show like ex like to express your fashion sense <laughs> because like it's the opposite of that actually but this i love so i mean look i buy clothes for myself not for what my boyfriend loves and we have so many different opinions on what i like and what he likes and that's absolutely fine i do not tell him what to wear and he doesn't tell me what to wear so i'm not the one to be buying only stuff that my partner is gonna approve and that's my ted talk so basically this is the body there's cut out on top then there's like a boob tube and then there's a cut out at the bottom you will see when i try this on but i would love to wear this under a blazer with like a suit i think this is so super sexy like one of the sexiest pieces i own probably in my whole wardrobe if you ask me that's kind of my opinion i think we might disagree on that one like some people might find different things sexy but for me this is what i think is very very sexy i need to keep going because this video is gonna last forever next up i got a skirt and it's a skirt that i've been wanting for a long time oh the mugler body i already took the tag off because i'm like i'm keeping you by 38. So over here we have a Prada nylon skirt. I love this one because what I love, I love the skirts that have like follow kind of a line, if you can see that, I'm not sure, but it's basically a typical nylon skirt with a buckle here, Prada buckle, the nylon pocket with the triangle, and I think this was really, really, like when I saw it, I thought it was really, really cute, and I love it, but I'm not sure if the size is right, because I got Italian 40, which is French 36, however, I think that I need Italian 38, because my waist is shrinking and shrinking, with all the like workout 
out sessions so i think that this is not sitting tight enough but we will judge that you will see that like what it looks like on so i'm not 1000 percent sure if the size needs to be switched it's so hard sometimes like with these sizes and things like that so especially with prada i find that their fit is a little bit larger than yeah like normally i would be 38 italian in prada you guys know that my valentino obsession is going really strong and i actually have a very similar piece I'm trying to close it because i already tried it on talking about valentino squirt it's a short that looks like skirt but you can kind of see it's short because the you see it's poking at the bottom the part where legs go and it's this kind of like a yellowish kiwi color i absolutely love this and i already have a mini play suit in the same color that i've worn on my instagram a lot i've worn it i mean in general i had it on a lot this is italian size 40 and i've actually tried this on in a valentino boutique in paris when everything was open i tried size 38 and i didn't like how the size 38 looked on me it looked I don't like when clothes look perfectly fitted. I mean, I also don't like when it's too loose here so that it doesn't sit anywhere, but I don't like when it's too fitted so it looks like you're constricted. So for example, this, I'm a perfect Italian 40. I really love this skirt short and it comes in black and pink in so many different colors. But the one color that I love mixing it with is purple. And I got this shirt, which I also have already in pink. It's like a silk Valentino shirt. Now look at this combination. This is my combination for summer. I love this. This reminds me of, I don't know, like Gucci back in like 2010, maybe even nine. It reminds me of like those kind of good times when color blocking just came out. For some reason, even though I for a moment stopped wearing so much color, I guess spring is exciting me and I'm getting really back into color. So I have this shirt already in pink and I'm debating a lot about this shirt with my friends. They're, this is like getting like sold out so fast. So if you like this, you better rush and click on the link in the description box where you can get it. I really, really, really love it. I think it's a beautiful color and I have actually a pleated dress in this purple color too. If you ask me, like this is something that I can wear to the beach, to the dinner, to work, like any, any, any time. It's such an amazing staple piece. And with this cool color of the season, I think, you know, you cannot go wrong. I got it in size Italian 40, but honestly, smaller is good. Larger is good because it's not a very fitted piece, so it's no problem. I have something to reveal. And this yellow box here, this is absolutely incredible. Over here, we have a padded cassette bag. Now it's still in all the stuff that it comes in. It's a suede beige cassette bag. And I mean, okay guys, this is like a third cassette bag for me because I had a red one that I bought like two years ago and I gifted it to one of you guys, which you know. Then back in England, I have a light blue normal padded cassette. And to be honest, I was like, I'm not really into this. Like the one with the chain, it just doesn't give me any satisfaction. And it's true. It's like really was not giving me any satisfaction. It's not a bag that I was like dying for. But when I saw this suede one, I was like, wow, convinced. So this is an incredible piece. It comes with this chain, like the kind of hand handle chain, and then the shoulder chain, which I think is just an epic, epic bag. Uh, my Teresa has Bottega cassette and padded cassette and this cassette, and I couldn't find it anywhere else besides on my Teresa. Just showing you a bit of detailing so that you can see better. It's really, really filled with paper right now, so I need to sort that out next item is a green isabel moran dress this is a typical isabel moran style dress like a kind of wrap dress style and when i saw this on i really loved the shape so for me this is like the kind of style of the dress that i love because i think it will be perfect especially green when i'm a little bit more tanned it will be perfect like under a blazer or under a denim jacket with sandals like flat shoes or high heels any kind of shoe and i worn a similar uh, i mean the same silhouette but like colorful print in milan i believe was it in february this year or was it in september last 
and I really really love this style of the dress. I think it's very flattering because it kind of picks you up in waist and it shows off like shoulders and hips and it's beautiful. So this is the green color one that I picked, which also if I want to play with color, this would work. Then probably the only like accessory accessory, which is not like a bag or a shoe that I got in this haul is a pair of sunglasses because I clearly don't have enough sunglasses, but these are very cool. I actually have another pair in a different color. They're Balenciaga typical sunglasses. I have to say that these sunglasses are very heavy. Like, I don't know what it is, but this part feels like it's like really on fire. But do I love them? Mm, I do. I think they're really cool. The detailing on the side is cool, you know, and I like the shape. This is the shape of sunglasses that I anyway normally go for, but because they're so heavy, they keep dropping to the bottom of my nose. So I will have to look into this. Maybe I will bring them to an to try and see if they can tighten them up because it also does annoy me if the sunglasses are gonna keep dropping but Balenciaga I mean I had this feeling on the day of Gucci Balenciaga show which we have seen right have you seen it what do you guys think because I was so confused on the day and I mean I have so many opinions of course when it comes to fashion I'm never without an opinion that morning I woke up and I I told myself something I was like you know what I feel like Balenciaga has been gone for a little while and uh, it's time for them to chop chop to do something like what is Balenciaga doing you know Demna like how many check shirts is he gonna issue how many are glass blazers it's almost so boring that I want to buy more and literally that morning before I even knew about the collab I went and bought a few pieces from Balenciaga because I was like let me just try them on and then I saw the show and I was like I'm psychic I'm psychic first of all but then let me show you what I got from Balenciaga at my Theresa first I went and I was like you know what like my Theresa always has incredible offers so they either have a daily candy or they have like a treat yourself where you get kind of like a 200 off or 100 off your order and that's what was happening so I decided to place this one order <laughs> so this check shirt i got in french 34 because balenciaga sizes are so big like that even when i buy the smallest size it's very often too big i don't know how is that possible because i'm not actually a small person like petite i don't want this to come wrong i don't mean that i'm like large or like that i'm bigger or anything like that i'm not saying that what i'm trying to say is that my bone structure is larger like i'm not a girl with like tiny hand or tiny feet i'm like size 40 feet i have a large head size i'm not fitting in the tiny tiny pieces because over my bones pieces don't don't close it's as simple as that so balenciaga is very oversized trust me on that one and i decided to get this shirt it doesn't have any logo anywhere which i like it's a simple check shirt that ties around neck and i always love the fit of their shirts now i haven't tried this one on but you will probably see what it looks like as i'm trying it on and i think it's a really beautiful piece i have like two or three balenciaga shirts already and i really love them and i want them all the time and i think they're really classics you guys also know that i have i believe two or three hourglass blazers also and for me hourglass blazers are something that are worn over and over and over and over again like i love them for me hourglass blazer is a perfect piece for anybody's wardrobe it's timeless and in fact the only thing that i feel like is missing in my wardrobe is an hourglass coat which i think i will need for autumn winter perhaps not the gucci balenciaga one but i think that the way they did that was really brilliantly hyped and brilliantly done like i always say there are people that will go crazy about it so if you're judging don't judge <laughs> someone's very happy about it so i also decided to get from balenciaga a suit i got an hourglass navy suit which like this will look like nothing but I will have to show it to you on when I try it on. I just love the silhouette of the hourglass blazers. They did not have my size of the blazer, which is 36. So I've got 34, um, counting on their oversizedness. And then I got the pants, matching pants in size 34. I tried them on because I was like, I want to know how, you know, how's the fit. And literally, I think this is like a 34 as in a 34, you know, French which is usually like 25 jeans size. I think I need 
a 24 basically this is so big it's a unisex also piece which i'm loving the designers are going more unisex that things are getting so cool in that way i also purchased like three pieces from y project i think like 10 days ago and the whole Y project is a unisex brand you guys know that but it's quite hard to judge the size that's my point so it is quite hard because these are 34 but they're so massive I don't even know if this can be tailored so I'm not really sure what to do about them because I love these trousers the material is so beautiful it's such a great quality but then what can I do it's simply too big and now I'm so excited to show you the last piece. It's not very unexpected. It's something I've been talking so much about. And there is a little bit of background story, but I think that this video perhaps is already too long. So when I show you this, maybe you will already know what's in there. So when was this? Like beginning of February, Milan Fashion Week, middle of February, when I went to Milan and so on, I shown you my white kitten heel. Uh, from Valentino which are also in my shoe trends video because I think it's one of the biggest trends of spring summer 21 the kitten heel and I actually walked in the boutique and I asked them can I have also the yellow kitten heel because I would really love to buy the yellow kitten heel for me it's much harder to find a cool kitten heel shoe in yellow than in white so he told me actually that yellow doesn't come in kitten heel they only come in flat version and from the first moment I knew that I wanted white and I wanted yellow that was it I, I was not interested in black I was not interested in anything else and you've seen that I've or, already tried on the kind of like a caramelly deep nude color and I decided not to keep them because I didn't like the deep nude in the end but I think that this will be so perfect with my summer dresses with like for example for me a whole white look and the touch of yellow is perfection I always wanted to achieve that with like a yellow Hermes bag actually or something like that but I think this will be so beautiful because it's a perfect style of the shoe these are size 39 and a half I'm between 39 and 40 my kitten heel is in 40 and that is perfect size actually for a kitten heel but for a flat I got these in 39 and a half very very happy I love them they remind me so much of my first rock stud that I got except that the Roman stud is much bigger and I really really like them especially because my three sub was running an offer so I got like 200 100 euro off these which I thought was an amazing save you know so I can spend it somewhere else <laughs> so that is it for this my Teresa haul I hope you enjoyed it let me know what was your favorite piece don't forget that I also got this on there it's such a cool piece I think I'm super looking forward to seeing you in my next video which will be very soon bye guys <laughs>